For this problem, we are looking at the relationship between tax rate T on an imported shoes and the sales S in millions of dollars. And it is given by this function right here. Find the tax rate T that maximizes revenue for the government. Round your answer to three decimal places. So if we have a function that's given to us, we're looking for the tax rate T. We have to multiply what we have right here, what we're given, by T. And this will give us revenue. So multiplying 5 minus 6 cube roots of T times T looks like this. So I first change the cube root of T to T to 1 third power so that it's easier to work algebraically. Then we need to distribute the t inside the parentheses. So t times 5 is 5t, and t times negative 6t to the 1 3rd power. What we have to do is we have to add the exponent, which is 1, for the t on the outside of the parentheses, to the exponent of 1 3rd that's on the inside of the parentheses. So adding 1 to 1 3rd is the same thing as adding 3 over 3. When we add fractions, we only add the numerator. 1 plus 3 is 4, and the denominator stays the same. So we have 5t minus 6t to the 4 thirds power. So now that we have revenue, we can find the derivative. The derivative of 5t is just 5, and the derivative of negative 6t to the 4 thirds power. I hang on to my minus sign, then I bring down the exponent 4 thirds, make a product with the 6, so 4 thirds times 6, and I lower the exponent by 1, which is the same thing as lowering it by 3 over 3. So then 6 times 4 is 24. 24 over 3. 24 over 3t to the 1 3rd power, because that's what's left after I take 3 thirds away from 4 thirds. So 24 divided by 3 is just 8. So my first derivative looks like this. To find the value that will maximize the revenue for the government, we set this equal to 0, and we begin by adding 8t to the 1 pow third power on both sides. So then once we've added 8t to the 1 third power to the other side, we're ready to divide both sides by 8. And then we have t to the 1 third power equals 5 over 8. And to get rid of the 1 third power, we need to raise both sides to the power of 3. That will get my exponent of 1 on the left, which is what we want. We don't need the 1. t is now by itself. 5 divided by 8, all raised to the third power, is 2.44.